Has Bitcoin reached its end? Have we come to the end of the 2021 bull market or is it just the beginning? Is this the calm before the storm or the storm before the calm before you start to skyrocket? Now, that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Let's gonna do a deep dive into Bitcoin, exactly where we are, or kind of what we need to see to confirm where we are and what we can expect over the next three to six months. And if you don't know me right now, my name is Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. I've been trading currencies for over 15 years, and now I apply that knowledge to cryptocurrency with the aim to bring in new knowledge and wisdom. And it's actually featured in this best-selling book in 2008 called High Probability Trading Strategies. So let's dive straight into Bitcoin. So we've got four charts over here. Top left is the weekly chart. Top right is the daily. Bottom left is the four hour. Bottom right is the one hour. Now let's just focus on the top right left at the moment. So let's just jump in and zoom in. So this is the holistic big overview, like really zooming back, let's, let's really look at this mountain from a distance. So what we've seen, and if you're not familiar with Elliott Waves yet, I've done quite a few videos. So if you wanna watch them, they're in one of my past videos. And, and we did a great video on Bitcoin on April 19th, April 19th, and we projected this correction almost, almost to the T. It was like really, really nicely done. But what we're at is it looks like a one, two, three, four. And what we tend to see afterwards of a wave four is a wave five. And that's what I'm seeing as the last part of the bull run. However, right now, we're in this uncertain zone. So you'll see I've put this wave four and I've put a question mark here. So I've written the note, potential wave four low, expect wave five to unfold over the next four to six months. So we should see potentially a really strong bull run, the last leg of the bull run, where it'll probably be the most amount of panic buying, the most amount of FOMO, especially towards the end of the bull run where the price tends to go parabolic. So I wanna draw this rectangle here. We don't know exactly when the wave four low will end. It's either come to an end or it's close to its end. So we might see some lower lows being made before we see the reversal. So we're in this kind of uncertain zone. So let's just jump into the four hour chart to see if we can get a bit more information. This was the red box that we just drew. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Let me just get rid of this. Trading views, the software that I use, it's amazing. So let's just zoom back out. So this is this last part of this wave, this, this part here. This is that correction, this A, B, C, and we're in this zone over here. And the, the real price point that's gonna confirm the first strong indication, the really, really strong indication that we've come to the end of this wave for low, which is over here. In fact, let me just do this for you. Let me just make this visible on the hourly chart as well. So you can see the same thing. Here we go. So this wave four low, this question mark here, the, the first sign that this is gonna be a confirmed wave low is the price of Bitcoin going above 40,600, 40, if I peg that correctly, let me just make sure I got it right. Uh, yeah, it's around the 40,700 40, in, in terms of dollars, right? We want this zone here to be exceeded and the market to close above. However, we may see some lower lows beforehand. And again, we may see the market come down into this zone. So Bitcoin is like the indicator, the ultimate indicator for cryptocurrency. It's like the big brother, it's the king. And what it does, everything else tends to follow. If Bitcoin is making new highs, everything else will tend to make new highs more aggressively and the reverse is true. So we're in this uncertain zone pretty confident from the analysis that we are gonna make a wave for at some point in this zone over here. This is the first confirmation that we want the price to go above, just to make that really clear, we want the price to go above. However, there's a good probability we may see a low, like a literally a lower low than the previous low, which will be a bit uncomfortable for the market. And there'll be a lot of news around it, a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt, a lot of fear of missing out. Portfolios will do another drawdown if this occurs, and, and it's almost like an equal chance of it moving down like this. But if we get a close above the $40,700, $40,300 mark, then we should be really, really confident that Bitcoin should go on to make new highs. And then to prepare yourself for the final part, and when I say final part, we're not talking about days and weeks, we're talking about months, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, maybe even 10 months. 
I'm projecting around six months to be on the safe side of the most aggressive part of the bull run for 2021 where you can make the biggest returns. So if you found today helpful, really useful, click the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification because I want to bring more and more of these videos. Let me know what you want to see more of. Also, I've just created my brand new crypto trading masterclass, how to fund your retirement. I've been listening to you. What do you want? And what I've been told is I want to know more about Elliott Wave Theory. I want to know about more about Fibonacci ratios. I want to know how to do proper trade management, risk management, how to kind of get my mind right. And I've put it all into the Crypto Trading Masterclass, How to Find Your Retirement. Should be in the link below in the description. Click it. It's free. Take it. Get knowledgeable. So when you watch my videos, we'll be more on the same page and get more value from what I do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I will see you in the next video.